Hello everyone. So today we are going to do derived units. So one thing I want to show you first because it is not in the reading is how you find the volume of a sphere. So volume equals four thirds times pi times radius cubed. All right. So keep that in mind because there is one question about finding the volume of a sphere. So what are derived units? Well, derived units are a combination of SI base units. So the derived unit um, is a unit that is going to result from some sort of mathematical combination of SI base units. So volume is a derived unit. So here we have in our table, we have a few other examples of derived units. So area is meter squared, length times width. All right. Volume, meters cubed, length times width times height. Density is mass per volume. So kilograms per cubic meter. And there are some more over there. So if we use dimensional analysis with derived units, um, one thing is if the units themselves are cubed, we need to cube the units of our conversion factor. OK, if they're squared, we need to square the units of our conversion factor. So if we have if we're trying to convert into cubic centimeters or we're using some conversion involving cubic centimeters, we need to cube our conversion factor. So one meter has 100 centimeters in it. And if we're using cubic centimeters, we need to cube this whole thing. So one times one times one is one. 100 times 100 times 100 is 10 to the sixth. All right. So, um, besides those, besides these conversion factors, which are a metric system, um, the only other thing you're going to need to know is the volume of a sphere, which I just showed you. So make sure you complete your questions and turn them into me.